Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bite Beauty Deconstructed Rose Lip Gloss Library. I purchased this on Sephora online a few days ago and got it in yesterday. And I posted a picture on my Instagram and I had a lot of people asking me to give my thoughts on it or do some swatches. So I figured I would do this video pretty quickly because it is a limited edition product. I'm not sure how long it'll be available for purchase, so I wanted to go ahead and get this up even though I haven't had a lot of time to play around with them. I have formulated some thoughts um, on the product so I thought I would go ahead and share those. Um, this comes with 12 lip glosses. They range in shades from bright pink to kind of mid-tone to orangish all the way to reds and plum. So you do get a good variety of shades and um, just for reference the normal Bite Beauty lip gloss is $22 and this set of 12 was $49. These are of course not full size but um, just to sort of give you an idea about this size I brought a butter gloss out with me because I'm sure a lot of you all are familiar with butter glosses or even have some um, just to kind of compare the size. So these are about the same height. The Bite ones are a little bit shorter, but they are not as big as butter glosses. They don't have as much product. Um, however, these are, when you think about this being $49 for 12 of them, this would come out to about $4 per lip gloss compared to about $5 for a butter gloss. So um, when you think about it like that, I think it is a good deal, um, considering Bite lip glosses alone are usually about $22. So, um, here are the shades again. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you and give my thoughts on each individual shade. I have tried all of these on and I do sort of have ideas about the wear of the lip glosses. Um, before I talk about the lip glosses themselves though, I will talk about the packaging and then the smell. So it comes in this little box. It's a, or it's like a sleeve, I guess. It's a thick cardboard sleeve. It feels pretty sturdy, although since it is kind of a, a laminated cardboard type material, you could damage it, I'm sure. Um, but the packaging is nice, and um, the packaging on the lip glosses themselves is really high quality. They come in little glass tubes, and um, but I don't think they'd break if you dropped them or anything. And then the lids are this sort of rubberized, um, NARS-type feeling packaging. And then the wands are actually really cool. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but they're like normal doe foot wands, except they're... A little bit indented so they fit on the surface of your lip really nicely and that helps with getting a really smooth application. They also pick up a lot of product and um, I really like the packaging of these lip glosses. They do have a smell though and um, when I bought them I was thinking I was reading the reviews on Sephora and a lot of people had complained about the smell and the taste of them. And I was thinking that won't bother me, you know, I'm sure it's not that bad or it's a rosy smell so I'm sure I'll like it. But these actually do have an almost too sweet floral smell. It smells sort of like a strong perfume when you first apply it. And I can see why that would bother people. Um, however, the, fa the smell quickly fades, you don't really taste it. Um, so I don't think it would bother the average person, but if you're someone who really is sensitive to smells, um, you might not like these. So I just wanted to mention that before I talked about the individual glosses themselves. Again, there are 12 of, 12 of them, and one thing that I don't really like about this set is that they don't have specific names. They're just numbered, 1 through 12, so that's kind of lame. But um, I'll go ahead and talk about them individually. This is number one. As you can see, it's like a really a blue-toned baby pink color. And this one, when you wear it, it, it doesn't have super opaque pigmentation. Um, there's a little swatch of it. But it would be really good to wear over like a light pink lipstick. Um, I do really like this one, and I'm definitely going to be wearing it over lipsticks. The second one, oops, that's number three. <laughs> Somehow these have gotten out of order. Um, here's number two. Two is a little bit darker than number one, but as you can see, it's still sort of a baby pink color that's kind of blue-based. Um, this, this one has a little bit more pigmentation when you put it on the lips. It's, um, there it is right there. 
but it's almost more of a nude pink color than the first one. Here's number three. This is more of a coral color. Um, it's a really pretty one, although it doesn't have, again, it's not super opaque when you put it on the lips. It would go better over a lipstick. There's its swatch right there. Sort of the trend I'm seeing with these is that the lighter colors are not as opaque. You see the color in the tube, and that's not the way it's going to look on your lips. Although it's going to have a hint of that color, it's not going to be super opaque. Um, but the darker shades you get, the more, the more pigmentation you get. Here's number four. Um, it's sort of similar to number two, except darker. Um, <laughs> I know these descriptions I'm giving of the color aren't very good, but you can see them and kind of describe them for yourself. This one is the one I'm wearing today. I'm not wearing anything else. I'm just wearing this lip gloss. So as you can see, you do get like a whisper of the color, but they're not super opaque. The thing about these though that I forgot to mention is that they are a little tacky when you put them on, and that really helps so they wear a really long time, I think. Um, I wore these for several hours yesterday, and of course I touched up like I usually do with a gloss, but I found that they last a really long time, and they don't dry your lips out. Even though they're not super creamy, they are really hydrating, and they feel good on your lips. So just keep that in mind. Okay, this is number... F what? All of these have gotten mixed up, you guys. I'm so sorry. Here's number five. So it's more of a like a muted rosy color. And here's a little swatch for you. Right there. And here's number six. I really like number six. I think it's a beautiful everyday color. It's a little bit darker than number five, but it still has that rosy, um, muted pink color to it. And here is number seven. It's kind of an orangey color. Um, I guess it's more of like an orange nudie color because it's not like bright orange or anything. But as you can see from the swatch right there, it does have a lot of orangey undertones in it. I'm not a big fan of orange lipsticks, but I wore that gloss for a little while yesterday and I noticed that it was really flattering because it wasn't as opaque, but it still gave you that nice kind of orangey color. So um, these glosses, even though some of them do look a little kind of eh, they are very flattering. Here's number eight. Um, once you start getting pigmentation, or like in the tube, they get about this dark, you start seeing really great pigmentation. Um, they become really opaque, as you can see from that swatch, um, and they start to show up true to color on the lips. Here's number nine. Number nine is kind of showing up red on, um, on camera, but it actually is more of like a hot pink color. Um, again, this one's really pretty, although it does have a, a bit of a red undertone, so this is kind of like a pink red. <laughs> Here's number 10. This one is even more hot pink than number 9, even though it looks red. You guys, I don't know why they're looking like that. It's like a dark cherry red, or dark cherry pink color. And then 11 and 12 are both really kind of dark, vampy colors. Here's this one. It's like a, a deep burgundy color. There's the, the wand. And there's the swatch. And then last but not least, here's number 12. It's like a dark plum color. And there it is on my knuckle right there. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll hold up my hand again so you can see. 
And then I'm going to put pictures of the swatches and then of the glosses themselves on my Instagram page. So if you all want to check those out, I'm Makeup with Sarah B, just like my YouTube name. Um, so my overall thoughts about this little set is that um, if you have lip glosses that you're happy with, you might not want to buy this. Um, it is a really good way to try out the Bite brand, which is another reason why I wanted to buy it, was because I've been hearing so many good things about Bite Beauty, and I was really looking forward to trying something, but I didn't want to spend like $22 on one gloss or one lipstick. So this was a good way for me to get a lot of glosses in a lot of different colors without spending a ton of money. Um, these are really nice. You get a good variety of colors. Um, they do wear well. They, the pigmentation is good. You know, it's um, the darker colors really, you could wear them alone and have really opaque coverage. The other glosses, they look good on the lips by themselves, although you're not going to be getting that strong opaque color that you see in the tube. So overall, I guess my my advice is to use your own judgment. If you think you would get these and wear them a lot, then go ahead and get them. But if you think that you might not like some of the colors or you have glosses that you're already really loving, you might not want to get this set. So I hope you all found this video helpful. Um, if you did, like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.